Uh, I would say yes, probably the more complete. We've done very good 45 minutes. I remember a couple of very good ones. But considering the all the game, you know, and I think we really deserve this one. We had uh, a lot of chances. I think in half time it was becoming dangerous the game because okay, we've played well, we have the chances, but they're still nil nil against this kind of opposition. But luckily today we could we could uh, finish the the job in the second half and I'm I'm really happy, especially for the players and, and the people who, who was here today. What was the mood like at our time? Was it kind of a case of the game's there for you to win or was it kind of maybe we've missed our chance? Or? No, I think it was a kind of okay, we are doing well, but we cannot lose one percent. Because if we lose one percent, they will start pushing us, they will start controlling the game and we have to keep the same pressure we have we are putting on them. I think it's the way they they played in the second half. No, I think uh, we wanted Newcastle to feel under pressure. You know that it was not going to be a, a comfortable day for them, and uh, I think we we did it with a strong start. We missed our chances, but I think confidence-wise, players were feeling that okay, we are we're playing well today. You talked about not letting the percent drop. I felt the subs came on; they really kept the levels high. Yes, I think we had. I think Luis had a lot of chances also to score. I think uh, uh, Dango, they kept the intensity, the attacking attacking grid, you know, they attack the spaces, go one against one, force them come backwards. Don't leave even with when we scored. Don't leave them gain the, the space and, and try to keep them far from our box. And I think we, we did it well. I think Don with those two goals, I think it's matched his tally for league goals from last season already this term. What impact Don has been really good for us since the beginning of the season. He's doing all the all the good things uh, on the ball, off the ball. I think he helps a lot his teammates. He he has a, also a clear mind, you know, because he missed a couple of chances first half. Sometimes strikers, when they miss chances, they start overthinking, and and I think he continued playing the same way, knowing that. Okay, it's what I have to do. I will score. I will not. But team needs me, and uh, for us, it's, it's a pleasure to have him up front. Yes. And at the other end, clean sheet for Neto on his return. How difficult a decision was it to bring Neto in? For? Was a difficult decision. It was a difficult decision because I think this week has been the week where, when the uh, goalkeepers have trained better, trained better. I think the three of them have pushed a lot. They knew that. It was a very difficult decision for me. Uh, Andre also wasn't feeling the 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 the, the, the best way. Uh, probably some sickness, you know. And made at the end, I was okay. Made me it's easier because I really I think we have three good keepers, and it's always difficult to make the right choice. But it's not like next day is gonna be like this, and they have to keep pushing, and we will take week to week the best decision we. We think, uh, and it's another position like outfield players where we can change one day, even the second keeper, the one on the bench, the one who starts. I feel it has to be this way because I think the competition makes everyone better. Uh, and how important is it to go to the international record win? Because obviously the last two times on that kind of down top team. Uh, I think it's always better to win before the, before the break, but it's true that we need to keep training the way we've trained this week. Because otherwise, you know, we need more points, we need more wins. We have now, after this break, a period where we will be playing a lot of games, a lot of league games in December. We have now, from the next four, I think three away. So we have to prepare well, because once this starts, uh, we will not stop until, until January, and we have to be ready for for this for these games and everyone has to be not only the ones that started or no no everyone we will need because we will need them in december for sure as you mentioned the subs uh, they will play really well sinister especially has that made your choice of picking two wingers even <laughs> yes but i think it's the same i told about the keepers no it's good when they come and they score and they make me think okay it was difficult because antoine came scored justin scored and seen it the other day now has come has had the chances I think Luis is really doing very well he's very 
you know, he's playing 30, 35 minutes really good in, in, in some games he, he's played. It's a shame for us, it's not, not for him because he was with the national team, but he kind of, every three weeks he has to go there 15 days, so we lose him a little bit, you know, the the rhythm of the team, the things we are tactically doing, but I think he's showing that he, he can be very valuable for the team. It could have been three or four today. That's obviously a good thing from your point of view. You're creating chances. Is there still any concern that you're maybe not taking chances? Uh, I, I prefer to have the chances, and, and, and it's true that we are not matching. No, the, the, the probably the number of goals we should have scored, uh, but uh, I think we have quality up front. No, we are talking about good players, and I think uh, uh, we we are pretty confident that if we keep the Offensive volume, goals will, will arrive. <laughs> and then finally, just to have thousands of Bournemouth fans sort of sing your name after a tough start to the season, that's been a pretty special for you. Yes, I'm, I'm very, very thankful. I've been, especially the days we've lost and we, we, we really didn't deserve it. No, and But I, I was really happy because I think the players needed to feel no, this this atmosphere today was a really nice day to play at night with the lights against strong op opposition. I think it's the kind of, of game you really like as a player to play and I think today they, they enjoy it. Then you spoke about not maybe not having the amount of goals you should have with the chances you create. Having a reliable striker is obviously really important. How many goals do you think Solanke should be able to score? I don't know. I, I don't want to put him under pressure. I think he gives us a lot of things. Even if he doesn't score, he's giving us a lot of things. I don't care if Dom scores, Ante scores, Justin Weber. I think we have to to see, okay, we're creating chances. We are. Uh, I think it's, it's difficult for me to choose the players that, that are uh, starting, that are coming from the bench, especially up front and the wings. We have options. But we, I don't want to put pressure on them. He's giving us a lot of things. I think if he continues playing the same way, he will score a lot more. Uh, just jump back in, that's right. Uh, with Philip out, you use Justin and then Luis essentially. Is that something you can do moving forward when you have options at number 10? Yes, I think it's good we have some wingers because we, we really have very good wingers, you know, and, and, and I think we can start thinking on putting them in more inside positions but where probably we don't have so many options. But it's, it's, it's good that they have these, these chances to put Justin behind the striker, to put Sini in a different spot. I think also Taft could help us in has played uh, before, I think, in Middlesbrough, also in the, the three in the middle, different systems, but I think he could be there. Brooks, he has played as a number 10 also. So I think he opens another chance for for the wingers to to to, to win in some more minutes. And just finally, Ryan Grissom, with the sign new deal, probably his best performance of the season really proves why you want to keep him here. Yes, Ryan is, uh, is very valuable for us. Sometimes... When he plays more in the the second striker number ten position, we ask him more finishing, more you know. But he gives us so many things on and off the ball that uh, sometimes we are not fair. You know, it's no, you have to do this and then you have to recover and you have to press and then you have to play and then you have to score the goals. And it's true that the competition is like this. The Premier League asks you to be very complete, very you know, have to have a lot of things. But I think he's someone that is, uh, for the teammates and, and for everyone, is, is very valuable. Thank you.